Yes, welcome to the high school showcase of YATC Summer 2014. Welcome everybody. I'm Joe. Oh, bye. 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 You're so great. We have a curtain. We're real fancy. Fancy. Like that. Fancy. I'm Sean Ryan and this is John. John Ainsworth. We're the two uh, directors. Started it how long ago? Oh, you're asking me now. Okay. I'm John Ainsworth. Uh, we started about 12 years ago now. 20, no, 13. 13 season. season. We were 12 when we started it. <laughs> Linda was there. It was a good year for me, wasn't it? Knowing nods from the audience. I love that. One of the kids last night said, I've been here for so long that I, st I saw Sean stop aging at 26. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. So um, we just want to explain a little bit about today. Down here is the musical theater and dance uh, showcase. So that will be going for about 90 minutes in this room. And starting in about 15 all oh, be quiet. <laughs> Starting in about 15 minutes, up at the amphitheater will be the acting uh, showcase. So feel free to head up there. There's about 15 scenes uh, for the high schoolers. And you can head up there and see that showcase as well. Your student knows where they're supposed to be at what time. So if they come in this room and they're like, come on, let's go. Let's go. Just wait until the act that you're watching is done. Don't stand up during the cast We've been class. learning this, this session also to, to be very good actors. You also need to be very good audience members. So they've been learning how to nod knowingly. Oh, yes. Instead active of having listening. Like, active listening, instead of having a, what we call dead face. <laughs> That's for teachers uh, and parents alike, so feel free to bring that one home. <laughs> and if you have any problems with them uh, afterwards at home, okay, students should be showing what we learned this week. Ready? Eye contact. Yes, it's amazing. <laughs> Try it at home. They're, they're quiet, they're completely silent, and they look at you. So, and, and it's actually, after 11 days, it's almost like Pavlov's bell. So, you can just say it, and they'll do it in, inadvertently. Oh! Got me again. Um, we've had an amazing 11 days. We had Jim O'Hare from Parks and Rec. Uh, I, I, I had to take notes, because remember, we're here for 50 days. Director Mardana so, Maginus was here. Mardana Maginus, that's amazing. Kevin Chamberlain um, was a surprise guest from Jesse. For those of you that watch Jesse on the Disney Channel in Sesame Plays the butler, the butler on Jesse. Um, he was here for a day. We had a really, a really fun time this week. We also had our film festival last night. John is at the film department. Which turned out fabulous as well. Chris is running the camera right now, doing all that. on our YouTube channel. So if you are not a friend or a fan or a subscriber of all of the social, across all the social media, basically ask your children, give them your phone, say, follow this, do that. I do the same with Sean, actually. He has to make me follow everything, so I'm like, I don't know how this works. But um, yeah, follow us on Instagram and certainly subscribe to the YouTube channel as well as the Facebook page. People ask where the uh, pictures get posted afterwards. The number one place is the Facebook page, the, Facebook the Facebook official page. Facebook page, so you can see all the pictures. If you don't see things in the next two or three days, know that it's because we're knee deep in a margarita somewhere. <laughs> and, uh, and we will get to it ASAP. We have two more sessions this summer. Um, one of the exciting things uh, about the rest of our summer, I will let Joan Ainsworth tell you, but we have uh, session three still and session four, and then our winter camp. For those of you that have not gotten the chance to experience winter camp yet, maybe you're a new family to YATC, we have close to 400 campers over um, these summer months, and we only have 120 spots in our winter camp. So we open registration on August 16th, and it usually happens pretty, pretty fast that it sells out. And it's going to happen even faster this year because John Ainsworth has organized a special surprise for us in session three. We actually had a really interesting thing happen recently that I've been kind of uh, facilitating for the last couple of weeks uh, through Seventeen Magazine. Um, they're actually going to be sending a former camper who is now a YouTube celebrity, Megan uh, Ranks. She goes by the YouTube name Megan Rosette. She is known for doing, a, she's got very, very wonderful content creation, very child appropriate content creation for YouTube. Um, but it, she's uh, gone on to be quite the celebrity. She's got almost one million subscribers on YouTube. Um, but she's gonna be coming back to be a camp counselor. And they're sending a crew from 17.com to do a docu-series about the Young Actors Theater Camp. So you guys seem to her on it, so yeah. We're gonna have, an, yeah, she talks about camp in her videos all the time. She, we have kids on Broadway now, we have kids in film and TV. We watched, we were watching an a HBO show one night and I was like, who's that? And I'm like, that's one of our campers. <laughs> it's crazy the, the amount that it's spread after 13 years. Yeah. And we're still 12, so. Yes. <laughs> 
check out today, um, after uh, the showcase has started, the camp store will be open. We do have a lost and found table out of the picnic areas. We tell the kids in the morning, but we'll tell parents too. We just simply take everything from Lost and Found and put it into a big bin. And we hope to get to it sometime around August 13th. But you'll be like, no, it was a brand new sweatshirt. It wouldn't just be in a bin in the backyard and you would be ignoring my emails. Yes, we will. Because we have 200 more campers this summer that will be here. And if you don't believe that we work 7 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. every day, come visit us for a day. It is amazing work, and it's probably the most gratifying work Absolutely. I've ever done. And, and we're working it as well as all of the staff who are here. So if you see the staff members, if you see someone wearing a t-shirt, you know, a, a staff member has a, a I, I used to have on my name tag, um, but they have on a name tag, please just look at them, give them a pat on the back and say, great job and enjoy their time off because they've been working exactly the same amount of time. I mean, literally getting up at, getting campers up, up at 7 a.m. Yeah, at 9.30 then, we get to go to our condo and go to bed. At 9.30 the counselors have to, have go, to go back to sleep to with the kids and cabins. Yeah, so. And then they get up and do it all over again. I'm like, it's like a 24 hour day, a 24 hour day job. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, so check out, um, we'll be up at the camp store, uh, we talked about Lost and Found, the medications, the, the headshots. headshots, the tie-dye t-shirts if your student did the tie-dye activity, they'll all be there, as well as the camp store. Um, some people want to think like, oh, we'll write in a couple weeks and order a t-shirt. It doesn't work that way because we don't live here year-round, um, <laughs> although I'd love to. But we only live here until August uh, 11th. So we also have a big performance on August 9th. It's our end of the summer big blowout bash. So we have um, a performance from our Actors Company, which is an original one act, one hour play, as well as our musical theater workshop, which is a one act, one hour musical. musical. So it's a fun afternoon. If you guys want to come back, certainly call us and we'll book we'll you a couple of tickets. Um, it's just a fun way for us to kind of end the summer with our session for campers with that special performance. And if your students want to be involved in workshop or company next year, um, they can audition at winter camp or right after winter camp we have a video submission process. And that those two programs happen every fourth session in the summer. Yes. And the reason why it was happening four sessions was because our master or the teachers, the scene study teachers, Matt and Sarah um, Gabori Pittenger had their first child. So they are bringing their baby, the first camp baby is coming to Yeah. We have <laughs> our summer first, camp. Yeah. Yeah, she, she. She, she's delightful. She's four months or four years, we don't know. No, but she's four months old. She's four months old. Her name is Baby June. We don't know why we were chosen as the godparents. We're not sure. Because I can't remember her name or gender. Uh, <laughs> Wonderful. There are the new um, purple brochures all around the campus. Um, you can ask any staff member for one. They have all the dates for next year. Um, we do start registration on January 16th. Um, you want to make sure you get your dates ahead for of summer time. Camp. For, for summer camp. camp. Uh, winter camp starts on August 16th. We do sell out within like 45 minutes for a lot of our programming, especially session one in the summer. It's my agent. Tell him I'm busy. Yeah, tell him. She's like, what? Um, ah, he's a cute dog. <laughs> And you guys have to see his sponsor today. He's, he's, he's come through the rafters, but he's ready now. He's probably dressed up already. Someone in front of Who's ready for an amazing showcase? Yes, let's get to that. Hi, everybody.